1 Timothy chapter 6 As many as are servants under a yoke, let them reckon their own masters worthy of all honor, that evil may not be spoken of the name of God and the teaching. And those having believing masters, do not let them slight them because they are brothers, but rather let them serve because they are steadfast and beloved who are partaking of the benefit. Be teaching and exhorting these things. If anyone be teaching otherwise, and does not consent to sound words, those of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the teaching according to piety, he is proud, knowing nothing, but unhealthy about questions and word striving, out of which come envy, strife, slanders, evil surmisings, wranglings of men wholly corrupted in mind, and destitute of the truth, supposing the piety to be gain. Depart from such, but it is great gain, the piety with contentment. For we brought nothing into the world, because neither are we able to carry out anything. But having food and raiment, with these we will suffice ourselves. And those intending to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and many desires, foolish and hurtful, that sink men into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all the evils, which certain ones longing for went astray from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, piety, faith, love, endurance, meekness. Be striving the good strife of the faith. Be laying hold on the continuous life to which you also were called and did profess the right to profession before many witnesses. I charge you before God, who is making all things alive, and of Christ Jesus, who testified the right profession before Pontius Pilate, that you keep the command unspotted, unblameable, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he will show in his own times, the blessed and only Sovereign, the King of the kings and Lord of the lords, having immortality alone, dwelling in inapproachable light, whom no one of men saw, nor is able to see, to whom is honor and perpetual might. Amen. Charge those rich in the present age not to be high-minded, nor to hope in the uncertainty of riches, but in the living God, which is giving to us all things richly for enjoyment, to do good, to be rich in good works, to be ready to impart, willing to communicate, treasuring up to themselves a right foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on that which is truly life. O Timotheus, guard the thing entrusted, avoiding the profane, vain words and opposition of the falsely named knowledge, which certain ones professing swerved concerning the faith. The grace is with you. Amen.